To the power of X, you never seen it before, much less solved it. But you're like for sure, cause you have ideas that won't be denied You take the X root of both sides, but you're scratching your head Cause that didn't help If the object is to get the X all by itself You see, the only way to get that exponent down to Earth For what it's worth, there's nothing worse than it is called inverse In this case, logarithms your hearse Use Napier's curse to help you switch it around And move that exponent a whole six feet under the ground So use it, abuse it, apply it, remove it Use it, abuse it, apply it Remove it. So why is it there? Still looking down, laughing to ride, and while you're crying buckets over your spill potential, you stand this power drilling into your mind. Kinda like the fleeting feeling that you're dealing with pyrotechnic visions of an exponential monster unwind. Deride the lies of your lofty tormentor, resent the disguise, and embrace the inventor. Here's Johnny with a mantra that'll cut to the center as he applies the inverse exponential to center. Clear your mind, lift the fog. The base of the power is the base of the log. Clear your mind, lift the fog. The base of the power is the base of the log. Clear your mind, lift the fog. The base of the power is the base of the log. Clear your mind, lift the fog. The base of the power is the base of the log. The base of the power is the base of the log. The base of the power is the base of the log. The base of the power is the base of the log. The base of the power is the base of the log. No more exponential messes for you. The essential message to you be the change you want to see. Apply logs to both sides of the equation. That's distressing and oppressing and depressing. And after all the messing and the stressing and the testing, I suppose logs are a blessing, but they may not be the best thing.